Sailing a boat around the world in the BT Global Challenge was one of the toughest things I've ever done. I learned so much about myself, about people and about teams. Because the boats are so identical, it makes it all down to the people. It makes it down to the leadership, the planning, the preparation, the teamwork and the sheer physical hard work and stamina that's going to make the difference between 1st and 12th place. This is, this is the route that we raced and this is why they call it the world's toughest yacht race because we raced the wrong way around the world. We raced from east to west, which means we're sailing into the prevailing winds and currents. The boats were an open plan interior. We didn't even have any doors on the loose. So if you were having a bad day, it wasn't as if you could go off and have a game of squash or go to the pub or take a dog for a walk. You are in that space with that many people for that length of time. This was just a list of do's and don'ts. This was a list of how we're going to behave towards each other and every other stakeholder we come into contact with. And the reason we did this is, I call it clear contracting. Everybody had bought into, the entire team had bought into and agreed upon the standards of behaviour which were going to be acceptable during our time together. If a team goal is going to be successful, it needs to incorporate as many of the individual goals as possible. Because people tend to be far happier working towards a team goal if they're achieving what they want along the way. One of the key things that I think is really, really important when it comes to motivating people is always to have something to celebrate, always to have a short-term victory, a short-term goal, a short-term objective to achieve. Well, whether you're on a deck of a boat or whether you're in business, the techniques for building teams and getting the best out of the people is exactly the same. And throughout my story, I do encourage people to make their own connections between the situations and challenges they're facing and the situations and challenges we faced. Mm -hmm.